What's going on team? Coach Kevin here from Elite Performance Gym. All right guys, so we get this question a lot. I'm gonna answer this question. I wanna answer it truthfully and honestly. So the question is that everyone keeps asking me is how many exercises of abs do I have to do in order to get that flat stomach to get those abs popping, okay? So the answer to that is simple. There is no set, there is no amount of abs that you need to physically do, okay? So for everyone, everybody has abs. Everyone has abs, abs are part of your muscle. But in order for you to have visible abs, you have to get to a low enough body fat percentage in order for you to have those visible abs. So that is the main thing that everyone needs to first focus on too. So then if you have a little bit of a belly, a little bit of a gut, or you can't see your abs yet, the main thing too is that the, the key point here is you're probably not at a low enough body fat percentage in order to have those visible abs, okay? So how do you get to that? The main thing, long thing. Long story short, you have to be in a caloric deficit, guys. If you have to be in a caloric deficit, and for everyone, that's very different. Um, and I know for certain people that I know that can be at 15% body fat, again, this is just what I know, 15% body fat, so certain people can have abs, and there's certain people that have to go down very, very low into low body fat percentages, men and women, in order to have visible abs. So for everyone, it's very, very different. Your body is gonna pick and choose where it's gonna be grabbing its fat storage, AKA that energy storage for use, okay? So again, for everyone, it's very, very different. You have to just put yourself in that caloric deficit. You have to get yourself to that low enough body fat percentage. Are ab exercises good to do? Yes, of course, they're excellent to do. But again, too, you can't just do a lot of ab works and then expect that big belly to go away just from doing it too. No, 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 no. That's not gonna happen, okay? You have to get the you have to get the body fat percentage down first, and then you do it. Like I always say too, hey, your body is a sculpture. You, you first gotta do those exercises, put it down in a caloric deficit by chipping it away. Once you get down to that low body fat percentage, just imagine you have that masterpiece that's all there. Those ab work is the pain, the last final piece to it. Because then when you do those ab works, you shouldn't be doing abs for an hour a day. You should abs are a quick movement that you should be doing maybe either in the beginning of the movement or you should be doing at the very end of the movement. That does not necessarily mean that you can't do any exercises that indirectly works core, meaning like uh, a renegade row or let's say like a squat or like a deadlift. That's where you're bracing your core, where you're actually really using your abs and actually getting your core strong without working it directly like crunches, like leg lifts, all that, okay? So all those exercises are very good to do, guys. So again, kind of recapping everything. I know I said a lot. Abs is the last thing that you want to kind of focus on to. Focus on that diet. Put yourself in that caloric deficit if you're, you don't see that visible abs too. But if you're seeing those visible abs too, you just have to push a little bit harder. Push a little bit harder. And I guarantee you, once you get to that low enough body fat percentage, again, for everyone, it's very different. You're going to start seeing those visible abs. Once you start seeing those visible abs, then I say start doing a little bit more core work. So again, you can chisel that masterpiece, chisel that masterpiece, putting in that final touches to it so you can get that definition into those abs. So that is how you get abs, guys, again, too. Again, like I said, abs, doing abs is great to do it, but then a lot of people, they overdo it sometimes too. And um, you should be working out every single day, but again, don't stress yourself too much. Don't do a thousand sit-ups. That's what I used to do. I used to do a thousand sit-ups like late at night thinking I'm gonna get abs in the morning. Never worked that. It only worked that up until when I truly figured out what diet works for me. Uh, focused on my strength training first, uh, nutrition first, strength training, and then cardio second. Okay, guys. So that is the quote, not quote, that is the tip of the day, guys, for you guys to take in mind too. If you have any other questions, comments, concerns in regards to how to get that five stomach, how to get that six pack abs, let us know, guys. We are here to help.